Hi there, I trust you're doing fine. My name is Sarah Kimani. I am a relationship and marriage therapist and coach and as usual, I'm very, very happy to host you. Today we are going to discuss why rush to divorce. Okay, why rush to divorce quotes? And before we discuss that, let us pray together quickly. Father, in Jesus' name, bless my viewers. Father, there may be those ones who are contemplating divorce. Holy One of Israel, remind them that you hate divorce, O oh Lord. Remind them that, Lord Almighty, you'd like them to be like you, O oh God, to be forgiving just like you, Father. We know it's not easy, but with your spirit, all things are possible, Lord. We give you thanks and honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, uh, many people have come to me recently and they, they, they tell me that they divorced maybe a while ago, several years ago, but they divorced without really considering what they were going to go through because something had happened, a disagreement had happened, a conflict had happened, but they didn't give each other time to think through what had happened. And so a conflict led to divorce. So what we are saying today is, even if there is a disagreement, and disagreements will come all the time, conflicts will come all the time. If those things come, it is not time to rush to divorce courts tomorrow. It is good to give yourself time. Why I say this is because things normally change. Tempers normally cool down. People who are upset sometimes cool down and they forget they were actually upset and they move on with their lives. People normally change their minds. Actually, a wise person changes their mind. So do not be upset today and rush and divorce your spouse tomorrow. Okay? That is what I am actually saying, that rushing to divorce court is not right. And I am not belittling how you're feeling. I know sometimes there are many, many big challenges that happen in families. Sometimes there is adultery in the family. Sometimes there is... Um, even physical violence in the marriage. But what you're saying is that even though those things are there, you just maybe need to consider a temporary separation, especially in case of physical violence, where you need to be safe and then consider reconciliation, look for counselors, talk to counselors, you know, seek forgiveness, seek just a talk, give time a chance and then eventually you will cool down and while you're doing that, your spouse on the other side is also doing the same. They're seeking prayers, they're they are seeking reconciliation, they're seeking counseling, they're seeking forgiveness, they're just talking to people and they're finding uh, ways of coming back together and then once you come back together, you actually move on from where you had left why i'm saying this is because i've seen people separate for 5 10 15 years and then they come back together and they actually remarry and move on you see so instead of getting upset and rushing to court the following day it is good to give time a chance give time a chance because what is upsetting you today may not really upset you tomorrow okay so even though you're a mad don't rush to divorce God hates divorce and so do I. Okay, I just want you to think about it and you know what? You may rush to divorce and you actually divorce your spouse who maybe has one challenge or maybe they, they, they don't keep time or they, they, they don't communicate well and you leave them and probably you go and get somebody else who has a different challenge. So the thing is God did not intend for us to be divorcing after every conflict. God wanted us to learn the virtues of forgiving each other, loving each other, submitting to each other, you know, praying together, respecting one another. That's what God intended when he brought people together. So he says he hates divorce and so do I because divorce comes with a lot of pain. Actually, God hates divorce because he loves you and he'd like you to avoid those kind of pains, okay? So God bless you so, so much. Please, even though you're so mad, reconsider your decision. All right, and give yourself time and sooner than later you will cool down because tempers normally cool down with time. God bless you so, so much. I love you and stay married in Jesus' name. Amen. See you soon.